Welcome to another episode of Carbs. Don't show us in the car and BS Wall Consuming Carbs. Matt Dine here. We are back at Yoshinoya. I know that I give them uh, a lot of crap whenever I do reviews and their food, but I just got to throw it out of here. Being inside of a Yoshinoya is like going back to the 90s. Just the way that the place is set up, the colors, it's such a weird, weird restaurant. Like, I'm not... I, I don't understand how they exist still, especially out here with Flame Broiler and Wava Grill running strong. Very strange. Uh, but either way, I'm going to be taking a look at their habanero chicken, brand new. So I'm guessing it's just going to be their regular chicken, but with, you know, a little bit of spice to it. Now, this is about uh, $6, I think, which that's actually one of the reasons I can believe that they compete with Waba and Flame Broiler. Quality food isn't so great, but they're a lot cheaper. I mean, because like... At least a dollar or two cheaper than those other locations for the most part. Uh, let's try this out. As you can see, it just looks like your typical really, really sloppily put together, <laughs> terrible quality Yoshinoya bowl. All right. Ugh, texture on that was not that great. Uh, let's get a different piece. Oh, man, this is just the... Once you've had Waba Grill or you've had Flame Broiler, you just can't go back. You can't do it. I don't know what makes this habanero... Um, there's no, there's really no heat to it. I don't even, like, get a slight tingle from that. Flavor-wise, it doesn't taste like a pepper either, a habanero pepper. It's just, it just tastes like their regular Yoshinoya. Maybe the mildest of heats, but if it's in there, it's really, really subtle. And again, I have a pet peeve. If you're gonna call something habanero, ghost pepper, whatever, at least give it a kick. I'm not asking for the same kick you get from a pepper. I just want a kick. Uh, I want to give a shout-out to you, by the way. Good Bad Flicks, just uh, got my shirt in the mail the other day, one of my favorite YouTube channels, good friend of ours. Make sure to uh, check out his channel down below and give him a subscribe, let him know that Reckless Eating sent you. Uh, I'm going to get one more bite and I'm going to give a rating on this, uh, but it's, it's not going to be a good one. Ugh. The chicken is weird. I, like, I can see some of these pieces still have like skin attached to them, and you just don't, I don't know, some of the, the one first piece I did was super like rough and crunchy, and other portions kind of like melt in your mouth. It's all over the place. Yoshinoya, come on. It just, it's just, I don't get it. I don't understand why this place still exists. Uh, it's just not that great. The only reason I can see it's still existing is in certain areas where they don't have Flame Boiler or Waba Grill. Every review is probably just gonna say that, that I do from Yoshinoya. So I'm gonna rate this a two out of five. This is drunk food, uh, but if I'm gonna go get real lunch or dinner, I'm not going here. Sorry, Yoshinoya, you didn't step up your game. Habanero chicken is a huge letdown. Don't like it. But what are your thoughts on Yoshinoya? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode.